Do you think that your academic background and spirituality will affect your leadership at LCWR next year? I, I would say, you know, straight out, probably. Um, what has happened to me through the course of years is that, you know, I majored in French and history, so my first loves, right there. Then I got a master's in administration because it looked like they kept assigning me to be principal of school, so I said, well, you know what? French is not going to cut it. I need to. I need something else. So then um, that has helped me, of course, you know, in, in uh, leadership in the community, those three degrees. And then um, I did a lot of work um, in learning how to facilitate groups. And so I was a consultant for decades and um, always trying to find the leading thought behind working with groups. And then um, in, for my doctorate, what I really wanted to do was get an organized um, perspective on the development of spirituality. Because as a matter of fact, um, the people of the world are more yearning for something for spiritual depth rather than religious traditions. You know, that seems to be the trend. So, um, in studying that, then I became more interested, I mean, I seemed to be called to do more types of retreats, retreat-like conferences. I was able to combine that with the consultation and so on. And I do think it has affected my leadership because, as a matter of fact, the theory is, remains superficial unless you figure out how to integrate it. And, uh, so in my own life, it has been extremely important, and I think what I'm hoping, I, don't, I can't tell you this, but what I'm hoping is that I really am a spiritual leader for the community. I would hope that for the LCWR conference. That is, remains to be seen, and I probably will be the last one to know it, so we'll see.